It's Saturday, November 18th, 2023, and we're at Disneyland, and I'm doing my yearly gingerbread review. Before I start, please subscribe to my channel, and if you like the video, please click the like button. At Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe, they have the Mickey full-size gingerbread cookies. They run out relatively fast, so I recommend using the mobile order app and getting them early. I basically put in my mobile order at 8 a.m. this morning, which gave me an 11.15 to 11.45 window. Like I said, gingerbread runs out here very quickly. In addition to getting the regular size Mickey gingerbread, you can also get a Christmas Mickey head gingerbread here, and it's got white chocolate on it. Um, I don't really like this one. I think it's inferior. They use a different formula, a different recipe for the gingerbread. It's a little harder and it doesn't taste as good, but it's a little cheaper. If Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe is out of the full-size Mickey gingerbread, you can always come to Market House, which is run by Starbucks, and they usually have them here, and some people don't even know they're here, and you can't mobile order, so they usually don't run out here. All right, moving into downtown Disney, you can get some really good gingerbread macaroons at Kayla's. And then there, are, there they are. They're actually shaped like little gingerbread in here. And if you get the three pack, which comes with a hot chocolate and a double vanilla, I believe it's the reindeer that's gingerbread. And if you do not have a park reservation and you want a full-size Mickey gingerbread, you can come to the Grand Californian Hotel. All right, another option for the full-size Mickey gingerbread is Fiddler, Fife, and Practical in California Adventure. Sometimes the lines are a little shorter than here, than Jolly Holiday or even Market House. And if you prefer the Christmas Mickey gingerbread head, you can come to Trolley Treats. And usually they don't run out of them here either. Of course, I don't really think Candy Palace runs out of them either. So. This is a good option if you're in California Adventure for that particular cookie. All right, the next stop for gingerbread is at this part. It's one of the locations you can get this Mickey-shaped gingerbread cookie. And it's basically right across from the beginning of Festival of Holidays. All right, the Lex La next to last stop on the gingerbread tour is Brew and Brews and Bites, and we're going to be trying the Churro Ale with Frozen Beer Slush. And the reason I'm trying it is because it's Churro Ale with a frozen slush of beer, butterscotch, gingerbread, and house-made churro toffee syrups. All right, this is the Churro Ale with Frozen Beer Slush. And it actually looks pretty good, so we're going to give it a taste and see how it look, if it tastes as good as it looks. There are actually a couple more stops, and we're at Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta, and we're going to get the gingerbread cheesecake here. Alright, working back to the churro ale with frozen beer slush. What was kind of missing for me was the butterscotch and gingerbread flavors, and since this is a gingerbread review, I'm kind of bummed out I didn't get any gingerbread flavor. However, the uh, churro and toffee flavors do come through. So, it's a decent enough drink. I don't know if it's worth $17 though. All right, and we're going to dig into the gingerbread cheesecake topped with vanilla mousse because I don't think it's gonna keep for very long. A few problems with the gingerbread cheesecake. I did like the vanilla mousse, but the actual gingerbread flavor was a little lacking. And also there was a consistency problem with the cheesecake. It's a little too wet, let's just say. 
uh, definitely wouldn't have made it very far if we tried to lug it through the park. It would have probably disintegrated pretty fast. I don't think this is something I would recommend anyone getting, even for a gingerbread lover like me. Next stop on the gingerbread tour is Cozy Cone number four, and I'm getting the gingerbread mule. And the gingerbread mule is cinnamon whiskey, ginger beer, lemon juice, and ginger syrup garnished with a maraschino cherry. And this is the gingerbread mule from Cozy Cone 4. And they were nice enough to give me an extra maraschino cherry. The only problem I have with the gingerbread mule is the whiskey is a little light. It's not that strong of a drink. However, the gingerbread beer, the gingerbread syrup, and the lemon juice are absolutely delicious. They work so well together. If they had made the drink a little stronger, put a little bit more cinnamon whiskey in here, this would have been a perfect drink. But it's definitely better than the Chiro frozen beer concoction I had earlier. While I have some time to kill, I'm gonna discuss the uh, different types of gingerbread you can get. The first is the Mickey gingerbread head for Christmas. This is the cheapest. It runs $6.49. You can find it at places like Trolley Treats and Candy Palace in Disneyland. I don't really like this. It's a little bit harder and it isn't quite as delicious or flavorful as far as the gingerbread goes. It's not my favorite. Next, we have the full-size Mickey gingerbread cookie. You can get this at Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe, Market House on Main Street, and Fiddler of Fife and Practical. The problem is that for some reason, Fiddler of Fife and Practical is selling this for $7.99 while Jolly Holiday Bakery is selling it for $6.79. Now that's a $1.20 difference. There is one more place you can get them and that is the, the Grand Californian Hotel cart, which is in the lobby. And the only problem there is that gingerbread, which is exactly the same one as the one you're looking at here, is ten dollars as opposed to six seventy nine for the uh, one in Disneyland and seven ninety nine for some reason at Filler Fife and Practical. I have no idea why the pricing for Filler Fife and Jolly Holiday are different. I admit, I did not look at the price at Market House. Maybe it's the Starbucks locations that are charging $1.20 more. I'm not exactly sure. I will tell you that I know that the reason they're $10 at Grand Californian is because they're charging the tourists. So definitely do not fall for it. If you're gonna be in the parks, obviously your first option is Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe. It's the cheapest price and the gingerbread is exactly the same no matter where location you're going to. Lastly, this is the Mickey gingerbread head cookie that they are selling for the festival of holidays. It's not at any of the marketplaces. It is at most of the carts that say festival of the holidays. This cookie is $8.00. It is the same as the full-size Mickey gingerbread cookie with the flavor and the recipe. The only difference is, is they do a glaze here instead of the icing decoration. So this is actually a little bit sweeter, plus you've got all these sprinkles on there, so that makes it a little bit more sweet too. The other difference is these are $8 as opposed to $6.79. And they're about the same size. I would say this Mickey gingerbread head is a little bit larger. It's kind of hard to tell here. I mean, if you put them side by side, 
like I said, it looks like the Mickey gingerbread head is a little bit bigger. Now the biggest of the three is this one, and it's also the cheapest. But like I said, I always, I also feel this is the least quality of the three, and it's definitely the one I like the least. And that finishes discussing about the gingerbread cookies. The next, the last stop is at Flo's V8 Cafe. This is their gingerbread shake, which is gingerbread spice milkshake with whipped cream and a gingerbread holiday bunt cake. And last year it was delicious. Hopefully they haven't changed anything. Honestly, this might be my favorite thing out of everything holiday, not just gingerbread, out of all the holiday stuff. This shake is just perfect. I love it. I love everything about it. It is perfectly balanced. It's actually nice and thick too, which is a surprise. Most Disney shakes are thin as shit. Sorry for the cursing, but it's the way I feel about it. This one's thick, it's delicious. Highly recommend you get this before the holidays are over. This is Kayla's magical trio for Christmas. And on the left is the Santa double vanilla. In the middle is the reindeer gingerbread. And on the right, is the snowman Mexican hot chocolate. And I really can't wait to try these. They definitely look great and I hope they taste as good as they look. All right, the last stop on the gingerbread tour is the churro cart at the It's a Small World Promenade, which is next to KC Jr. And we're gonna try the gingerbread churro. The churro also comes with a butterscotch dipping sauce for a dollar fifty more. I don't really think that goes with the churro, so I'm skipping that. Alright, the churro itself is mildly warm. It seems to be a hair mess thing when you're getting churros. Sometimes they're hot, nice and hot. Sometimes they're cold. This time they were somewhere in the middle. Sort of like the Goldilocks and the Three Bears thing. The flavor was pretty good. Uh, not overly pronounced churro, uh, gingerbread flavoring. Actually, I could have used a more, bit more of the seasoning. Uh, it's okay. I don't think it's worth the extra money. I'm gonna wrap it up here. So the free video is over. Now get out.